by the way, well done Charlton last night. What a oh, game yeah. that will be at the Wembley final. Uh, Charlton against Sunderland. Of course, I commentated on that classic the four four playoff. All that when Madonka scored four and Peter Reid. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Reed wasn't happy with his I'll goalkeeper. I'll tell you what, day. Lee Bowyer has so impressed everybody. By I mean, he used to be one of football's quotes bad boys, you know, and that kind of stuff. Not that he was ever convicted of being a bad boy. I hasten to add. Um, and he's now uh, Charlton manager and yeah, going a pop, into a pop boy just opposite yeah. Canadian Wharf. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's head to Wembley. Let's get a little taste of kick off. Of course, five o'clock is the atmosphere building because Wembley Way we go to now with Laura Woods. Laura, good afternoon. Hello boys, how you doing? We Hi, are Laura. good very Laura. well, so thank you. <laughs> Paint us some pictures, Laura. Uh, oh, do you know what? It's the worst timing for you to ask that because somebody just walked past with a half and half scarf and I'm absolutely <laughs> disgusted. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, <laughs> it's, it, yeah. it's wicked down here actually. It's building yeah. up nicely. There's Watford fans everywhere, the city fans are starting the to in as well. Mm. Oh, it's just brilliant. I mm. can smell barbecue, I can smell sausages and be yeah. burgers on the barbecue. It's amazing. Yeah. We're here at the Box Park as well. Well, I've got Craig Mitch and Michael Kern alongside me. And uh, Michael's going to be out there uh, milling around with some of the fans, chatting to them. Craig Mitch is going to be alongside me for the rest of the show as well. We've got Luther yeah. Blissett coming on, Stuart yeah. Pierce, of course. Motti's going to come and join us. Jim White. You know Jim White's been in the, in the hotel, the mm. Watford Hotel, all morning, picking wow. up people to interview, door-stopping them like he does. He's been yeah. brilliant. Excellent. Well, that's, uh, that's brilliant. I'll tell you what you'll find, Laura. Not that I'm trying to teach my grandma how to suck eggs, but when you get, it, when you get but, a... But he's going to, Laura. No, no, no. <laughs> not, no, no, not at all. Because remember, remember, my team Everton beat Watford in the 84 oh, Cup oh, final. Oh, Okay. <laughs> now, now, Laura, let me show you. What, what happened this season to uh, Everton? Uh, uh. What, what do you need to know that for? Don't you know already? Are you so just I, I, was at, I was at the game. <laughs> yeah, so was I with Tony Cascarino. He put the hex on the game and we lost. Um, no, Laura, what I was going to say is that if you get two gigantic teams playing the FA Cup final, so if it's yeah. Manchester City and Chelsea or something like that, right, the, the, there's, a, there's a taken for granted that, you know, one great team's going to win. The Watford fans will so love their day today, and I'm sure you've picked this up already, on the passion of the Watford fans, because they don't often get to a Cup final. They've never won anything in the history of their, their club or their team and it could be such an historical day for them today. They will be feverishly anticipating the game. It could be, couldn't it? There's definitely that excitement, that anticipation yep. actually when you look at the fans today because anything can happen. I tell you what as well, Porky, I'm looking over the famous arch at the moment yep. and in the distance on the horizon I think I can see Big Brenda as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much yes. indeed, you see. So you're ganging up with Mr Brazil now against oh, me, aren't you? I'm trying mate, to chip away at my <laughs> reputation again. Uh, um, Laura, uh, listen, mate, I'll give you a heads up, Laura. Turn the yeah. radio down about quarter to one when he attempts to destroy <laughs> yeah, the no. cup final anthem. Uh, it's, listen, uh, Laura, it's traditional on this station. I always give a rendition of Abide With Me uh, on cup final day. In fact, I'm of a certain age, and I've been at Wembley, the old Wembley, when the bloke in the white suit would get up on the scaffolding in, <laughs> on the centre circle and, you know, with his baton would lead the, the singing of Abide With Me. I was always ramrod straight when I was singing that. <laughs> one of the great... So, sorry, Laura. Sorry, Laura. And, and uh, you know... Ramrod straight, five foot five. <laughs> oh, 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 you see. Never goes away, does it? Never goes away. Um, anyway, how do you see the game going, Laura? Oh, I, I, I want to I wanna believe in the magic. I want to believe that Watford can do it. And I actually you do can think do they can magic. do it. I think anything can happen on a final day. Um, I think that City just have this momentum, don't they? They're so strong at the moment. I think their bench will be something to behold. I think, you know, bringing people like, off the bench that could basically start in any team is going to be where they'll win it. Um, but you never know. This is the exciting thing. You never know. Well, Manchester City know that to their cost, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I just feel, Laura, though, Pep will be driving it in their heads. I'm yeah. sure he will. You know, everyone think so. thinks we're on the beach, we've, we've won the domestic treble, yeah. we're the best team in the world. No, 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 no. We have to earn this. We have to work harder than ever. Yeah. He will drive that into that city side. He's like that. He is. He's like that. He's humble. He's brilliant. And one thing, actually, I saw his press conference yesterday that he mentioned that we're all talking about the fact that this could be the first domestic treble, exactly. but actually the Arsenal ladies did it. And mm. he knows that as well. Mm. So he's already humbled himself, and I'm sure he's doing the same with his team. Mm. I, don't, I mean, I've been to a few FA Cup finals in my time, Arsenal as well, a couple of seasons ago when we, when we did it against Chelsea and also mm. City in the semi-finals, and they were the underdogs then. And I'm not saying that the gap is, uh, is as tight as that was, but, like you say, it, you, anything can happen on a day like this at Wembley. Yeah. Mm. Laura, have a great time. You'll love Thank it. You guys. Laura. Thank you. Lovely so, Laura, you. coming up with yeah. Craig Mitch at 1 o'clock. Don't forget, 5 p.m. Mm. live coverage here on Talk Sport. I should. Okay, will. it's Cup Final Day. We're heading to Wembley Way in a moment. It's time for this. me mm -hmm. 
comforts flee. Help of the helpless, abide with me. Shall I get second verse? Near one of the hits cats. Swift to its close ebbs out life's little day. My cats just run away. Earth's joys grow dim like you. Its glories pass away. God. Change and decay in all around I see. a year. We're heading to Wembley Way. Laura, take out the cotton wool now. You're safe, Laura. Have a great day. Boys, thank you very much. Thank you, Mike Parry. Thank you very much. I, I don't know how to follow that. I don't think it's physically possible to follow that. So uh, let's just set the scene for you. We are here on Wembley Way. It's FA Cup final day. The fans are streaming out inside uh, of, of, of Wembley Way. I can see a mixture of people that are very, very excited for this. So we're going to get straight into it. But first of all, uh, let's get the news and sport with Shauna McCarthy.